Kia ora Year 12, this is question 3E from last year's Level 3 Integration Exam and it's another differential equation question. So we're given the following DE and we have to solve it. We're then um, going to use a couple of conditions to get a particular solution and then find the value of Y when T equals 5. Okay, so we don't have to separate the variables. Y will equal the integral of this thing here. So this looks awful until you realise that um, we've got e to the power of something and the something is sine to the point 5t. So the derivative of sine of x is cosine of x and we've got that sitting down here. So this is that nice pattern we get with exponential functions. So we can um, integrate this as follows. We're going to have k times something in here, e to the sine of 0.5t. Now, if I differentiate that, I'm going to get, um, we need a plus c as well. So if I differentiate e to the sine of 0.5t with respect to t, that'll give me 1 half e to the sine 0.5t times cosine of 0.5t. So we don't want that half, so we need to undo the half by multiplying by 2. So that was very silly how I've written it. We'll rewrite that as 2k, so y is equal to 2k e to the sine of 0.5t plus c. So that's the first part of the problem done. Now it's just a matter of slowly and carefully going through and substituting in the values that we've got. So the first one is that when t is 0, y is 8. We get 8 equals 2k e to the sine of 0 plus c. So c is equal to 8 minus 2k. All right, so nothing completely sorted out yet. We're going to need to now use the next point, which is that when t is 2, y is 12. So this one will get a little bit messier. We get 12 is equal to 2k times e to the sine of a half times 2, which is sine 1, plus c. So that gives me 12 times equals 2k. Now this number here works out to be um, 2.319 blah blah blah, something pretty ugly, plus c. So that gives me 12 minus 4.64k is equal to c. Now, I'm writing that like that here, but I wouldn't round too hard, so I would put over here in my notes 4.63, I think it was 4.639 or something. So put the whole number down somewhere, just so that you can check you haven't stuffed up the rounding. That gives me now two equations and two unknowns. So c is equal to 8 minus 2k, and c is also equal to this, so we can equate those two things. 12 minus 4.64k is equal to 8 minus 2k. Um, now what? Okay, so 4 is equal to 4.64k minus 2k, right? Subtracting this from both sides and adding this to both sides. So 4 is equal to 2.64k. K turns out to be 4 over 2.64 which is about 1.52, again try not to round, and what did we have for c? And c was equal to 8 minus 2k, so c is equal to 8 minus that thing there, which is 4.96. What's up? Okay, sorry about that. Um, now we've finally got our c and we've got our k, so let's just scroll back up. Hopefully you won't get seasick. There we are. That's where we're heading. We need to put C and K back into that equation and then finally use, use it to get a value. So we get Y is equal to 3.04 E to the oops, sine of 0.5 T plus 4.96. I got to say, in the big scheme of NCA level 3 calculus exams, these are some of the most boring numbers ever. So now t equals 5, what's y? 
substitute it in. Uh, y is equal to blah, 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 blah. You can do that, which gives us 10.49. And I'm just going to scoot back up the top and check if I had any units to think about. Let's see. No, no units. So that's it. We're done. Okay, so we've used calculus and we've shown the results of any integration and we have solved the problem. I'll be back with some more later on. Thanks for watching.